The company Elegoo sent me their new resin 3D printer at no cost to me if I make this video review, but I'm going to give you my honest opinion. This is my first resin 3D printer. It's called the Elegoo Mars 2 Pro. This resin is hazardous and should not touch your skin. Read and follow all safety instructions and always wear gloves, safety glasses, and proper PPE. My other 3D printers are FDM, meaning they use a spool of thin plastic that an extruder heats up and melts layer by layer. This SLA printer works a little differently. A display screen projects slice images using UV light underneath a vat of liquid resin. That UV light cures the thin layer and this process is repeated until the model is complete. This printer does have a built-in carbon filter, but I still recommend printing in a well-ventilated area and avoid the toxic fumes. The printer is pretty much completely assembled, but before we print, we need to level the build plate. Remove the vat, loosen the bolts, and place a piece of paper over the screen and then press the home button. The build plate will hold the paper tight, but we need to raise the build plate up about 0.1 millimeters so the paper becomes loose. Tighten the bolts and then confirm the C height as the new zero. The setup is complete, now let's print something. Elegoo sent me this resin since one is not normally included with this printer. Shake it well before pouring it into the vat just below the max line. The flash drive includes a test model. The display is nice and it shows a 3D image of the print. Add the cover back on and you can watch the sliced images and the percentage complete on the screen as the build plate does this little dance in the resin. Then after patiently waiting, you will start to see the model develop. When finished, included is this holder. It lets the excess resin drip back into the vat. We can save the resin in the vat by first pouring it through a filter, and then back into the bottle. The models do stick very well to the build plate, but once they're off, you need to wash the excess resin off with isopropyl alcohol, and then let the model completely dry. The model is still a little soft, so we need to fully cure it by letting it sit under a UV light for several minutes. If it's a clear sunny day, you could leave it in the sun for a few hours and rotate it to help it cure evenly. I'm impressed with how tough the plastic is after curing and how small the details are. I'm using my macro lens to capture the ultra small letters and the central staircase. Incredibly small and sharp details. But what if you want to print your own model you found? Included on this flash drive is a free copy of Box. Import your model, scale, adjust, hollow, add supports if needed, and I've had no issues with this software, the default settings have worked great. It even shows you the sliced images. The results speak for themselves. This model printed without any supports, and the printer captured every small detail. Very smooth results that I'm very happy with. Next, I wanted to print a few models created by my friends, and I'll add a link in the description so you can check out their other awesome work. I removed the model, cleaned an isopropyl alcohol, then made it completely dry. I removed the supports before curing, and they just popped off very easily and cleanly. I'm so very impressed with the small details. I want to spray paint this white and use acrylic paint to turn this into a fun painting project. Next, I wanted to print a small model, and this printer and slicer software were still able to capture the very small tiny details. I'm still learning, and I wanted to show a mistake I made when I didn't completely dry the model before curing. It creates this marble-like discoloration, but besides that, the details are still very nice, and I'm impressed that it was able to capture the fur. This was an old project of mine where I created a birthday card video game that after you win lights up and plays happy birthday. I was never happy with how the FDM printer left visible artifacts of the printing process. So I printed this one on the resin 3D printer and it turned out very smooth and looks more professional. Overall I've really enjoyed this printer and I've been very impressed with the print quality. I will continue to post prints on my Instagram as well as add additional information in this video description below. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time.